Hey, what's going on? My name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have another video for you today. It is Thursday, and we're going to start pulling our sales from the last two days. So I'm going to turn over to Kathy, and she's going to show you guys what has sold for us. And Chris wants me to split these in half. Yeah, because so and... we're limited on table space. So what's the heavier <laughs> half? Let's do the heavy half first. All right. <laughs> We had what about <laughs> 27 sales to pool right now the over first two days. This one is a really heavy item. These are La Sportiva, like a mountaineering boot. These retail for over $300. I thought I could get about $140, and I probably could. I only listed them about a week ago. Um, I got an offer of $80 this morning, which I did not accept, and they came back at $90, and then I countered back at the first offer I sent them, and then they came up to $100. So I was like, I'll just accept. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. I do think I could have held out and got like 130 to 150, but yeah. uh, I only paid 16.99 for the boots. It was a fast sale and they sold on Posh, which I like because the buyer pays shipping. Thankfully, these boots are only about four pounds. So with the box, even they're still under the five pound weight limit. Oh, nice. So I don't have to pay extra. That's and yeah. on eBay, they could have sold to say Alaska and I paid even though I charge the buyer for shipping, right. I undercharge a little bit. So if they ended up living far, I could be out more money. So I took the hundred bucks. Yeah, because Poshmark has that five pound limit. You can increase that, but it costs more money. Yeah, like four fifty, five bucks a pound after the first five. Right. So these little girl camic slippers bought for six dollars, sold for fourteen ninety seven plus ship. These made it into the 50% off sale that we have going on on eBay. Okay. So I'm about doubling my money, making about a $6 profit there, and that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're at a point with our inventory where we're at like the very maximum capacity. We're at like, what, 1,250 or yeah. so items in our boxes and shelves and all that. And that's pretty much the peak. Yesterday we put a bunch of stuff away and we had a hard time finding some space. Yeah. So we're yeah. excited to get these 30 items out. We still have these shoes here, but I did sell like two pairs that I listed just yesterday out of here, so we don't have to put them away. So that's cool. Hey. This is the first one, and this surprised me. Uh, not so much, but like, I guess how fast they sold, because I literally listed these last night. Yeah. They sold them probably an hour for my full price. Um, they're just Adidas, and they're like Rod Laverwitch. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. I don't even know who that is. <laughs> but anyways, but like, look how dirty these are. They're gross. Like they have. <laughs> You're really selling the shoes I right know. now. <laughs> well, they're already sold. So someone really wanted them. They yeah. got them within like an hour. So yeah, like this is like, if you want to fix that, you got to like repaint over it. Cause that's just, it's not just dirt. It's the paint is coming off. So right. anyways, I got these at the bins. That's the only reason I grabbed them. And the comps on these in better condition are like really good. Um, but these ones I sold for $34.95 plus ship. I have zero cost of goods because I bought them, well, I bought them at the bins and that day I had already made all my money back at Play-Doh's. So. Oh yeah, that day we took everything to Play-Doh's yeah. and Once Upon a Child and all that stuff. So, okay. I'll take it. It's about a $30 profit after eBay fee. Very nice. For ugly, dirty shoes. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't want to put them away. Yeah. It's funny because they've been just sitting on that rack. We were working through that rack yesterday. Yeah. Um, can you tell? Yeah, <laughs> we you took a few things. Can. I mean, it was yeah. overflowing. Anyways, so yeah. Um, worked through that rack. Two have already sold. Others already have a lot of watchers in, in one day. So right. that's just stuff, guys. <laughs> yeah, if you don't know, that rack is kind of like our death, death pile. pile for <laughs> shoes. Kind of. Yeah, so we got rid of our death pile and then I went outsourcing. <laughs> and then just every now and again, one pair needs either. Chris usually does any like. Mm. Uh, conditioning yeah like these he like made them look a little bit nicer and stuff yeah. so anything that needs conditioning i put there if i have if it has like a weird flaw that i don't want to like point out that day put it there right. so anyways they usually sell fast i just yeah <laughs> oh, anyways, so i sold one of these nice. i have four of them i think over there these were just in our kids' bedrooms since they were born pretty much yep but we've kind of been switching out everything so Anyways, I bought these at Ross way back when for like $9.99 each. This one sold on Mercari for 20 plus shipping. So they had wow. it in their, year, their room for like seven, eight years. 
and I still made like a seven dollar profit after Mercari took their fee. So yeah, that was our nursery decorations, yes. the old comic <laughs> book stuff. Yep. So that's cool. Yeah. Um. So that can help me made a profit on it even. Four, maybe i can buy them something new <laughs> hey. for their room anyways uh that is going ups i need to find a box for that it's kind of a weird shape yeah we might have to custom yeah. make something and it's not usps so we can't just do the easy boxes okay another pair of shoes i sold right away are these paul greens really expensive brand uh but yeah anyways that you can see these have like the toe marks and stuff. Right. I only paid $7.99 for them. I listed them at $59 expecting to get an offer, but someone bought them for $59 overnight. So very nice. That was nice. Although I say overnight, it was actually just like an hour or two ago, which means oh. I still have to wait because they bought them full price on the phone. Oh yeah, that's right. The full price three hour rule. Yep. So there's that. Let's do like a I don't know. Another boxes. Let's do a regional B, I guess. Okay. CF. Oh. <laughs> Poor Therese. Not He's... blocking my way. Oh. I'm He's sure over I got there. something over there at some point today, Bob. <laughs> I'm, I'm muting your phone. That was oh, out of sale, by the way. That was. <laughs> no sale. All right. Uh, so these Converse, Koala. I thought those were cute, just little. High top sneakers, bought for $6.50, sold for $21 plus shipping. Nice. Uh, those I could have fit in a padded flat rate, but they are living in, they live in Kansas, so I'm just gonna do a box, because it was four cents more and I would rather do a box. Right. Okay, box F, Torrid Flats. All right, just bought these like a week or so ago for $5.99. There's like a velvet with the rhinestones. One of these like elastics was slightly stretched out, not like completely. So I did point that out and I listed them lower because of that, mm. but they still sold really fast at 23 with discount shipping. So I'm making about a $10 profit there. Okay. Yeah. We have a flat name box. That'll be good. DJ Merrill Shoes. Got some Merrill Shoes. Bought at a garage sale for 10, sold for 30. That was an offer someone sent. I accepted. Probably could have got closer to 40 if I held out, but. We are out of space here. Right. So. Yeah, we're not really in the position to be holding out for very long. <laughs> yep. Mm, Plus, we're kind of, we kind of believe, well, I don't know if this is anything you should, <laughs> we kind of think that if things are selling, even if they're not high dollar, it kind of sparks other sales yeah. too. So <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll accept lower offers to, it's just overall better for us, I think. All right. Well, some basic wrestling shoes, bought for $7.99, sold for $31 with discount shipping on Posh. Regional bees. Looks like it's gonna be a box day. Yeah, <laughs> Tons of yeah. boxes today. Okay, I like how I'm doing this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, AA sold a Prana swim top. Hey, you. I knew I was gonna make it over here. All right, this has like zebras on it, just like a bikini top. Bought for $583, sold for $20.97 plus shipping. Box Q. Sold some Nayot shoes. Bought for $8.99, sold for $52. Really like that brand. It sells really well for me. And that's N A O T. Yeah. This box. There's another. I don't know. I might end up switching some of these boxes yeah. if they're too big, but. Okay, Crocs in box C H. Crocs in box. Ha ha. It's like the new Doctor Seuss book. <laughs> Where are you at? What Crocs did I sell? 
<laughs> I was thinking they were a white pair. I do think I sold a white pair, but. Uh, these actually sold within a day. They are Crocs, they're called the Serena Sandal. You can't really see, well, you'll see on the screen, but they have like a floral accent. But for $7.99, sold for $29.95 plus shipping. Okay. Those are under a pound going in a mailer, but they're kind of large, so I think they're women's 11. They don't really fit in a normal 10 by 13. So we'll do that mailer. And then CV. Mm, Echo Men's Oxford. Bought for $9.99, sold for $29 with discount shipping. That's the second time I've backed <laughs> into that table. <laughs> All right. And let's just do. Uh, you guys will shoot lots. Okay. Box CC. Childhoods. I these are my son shorts. Sold for twenty two with discount shipping on Posh. I'm sure I paid more than that for them, so making back whatever twenty two minus discount shipping minus Poshmark <laughs> fee is. Actually, since it's a box day, let me just do a foldy box. Uh, okay. Okay. And box D for the first half. Remember, come on. Okay, these bought for ten, sold for thirty. So Sweet. Too bad. That was Poshmark. So yeah, a lot of Poshmark sales. I had. I wonder if it's because so with Posh or VA, you've always had the ability to like relist items with it, but I always forget. Right. Um, but I've been doing it every single day. I haven't forgot, I think, for at least a week. And I've been having a lot of Poshmark sales. So I don't know if that's why. Right. Or if it's just in combination with me also just listing more. Yeah, you've been very consistent this month yeah, so I far. Yeah, day this whole month yet. So probably a combination of both. <laughs> yeah. We'll find a box for that. It's Poshmark, so you can use any of the boxes. I don't know. Did you, did you mean to put that box back? I just don't know what I'm okay. gonna see. What we got going <laughs> so, on here first. So we'll get this stuff all boxed up and then we have another round of I don't know, 15, 12 <laughs> Maybe less. or know. so sales to pull. So we'll be back. All right, got that first little batch packed up, ready to go. I have a piece of tape on my hand that's bugging me. <laughs> I hate that, those little yeah. <laughs> flakes of paint or paint and have tape. Some kids hunter boots. These were my son's. Sold for twenty-eight with discount shipping on Posh. I probably paid around thirty for them to begin with. So he wore the heck out of those, though. Those were his favorite boots. Yeah. Um, oh, what do I got up here? Using what we got. Should, be, should do fine. All right, BG. Very close, beast. Oh, he's a boy. <laughs> These are some Nike men's, um, they say Air Force Falcons on them. Sweatpants, bought for $7.99 and actually sold to my friend and viewer, Becky. So, thank you so much, Becky. Becky, thank you son. so much for the support. Yeah. Uh, those are a little bigger than a normal mailer, so we'll do a doggy mailer. Okay, B E. exactly where Reese was laying, so he got up just in time. Which means wherever he goes next is probably <laughs> where our next thing is, huh? Yeah. Okay, uh, these are some men's foot dry golf shoes. These ones I bought for $8.96, sold for $21.22 plus shipping, so not huge money. Right. I think those ended up in one of our higher priced percent sales. The higher percentage sales? Yeah. yeah. Too close for a box. You could probably, it's only 0. 0.6. Over? 
Yeah. So we'll either do this box. If we can't cut the box down enough, I'll just bubble wrap and put these in a mailer. Yeah. Because I only paid for two pounds. <laughs> I thought they would fit, but then I second guessed myself. Either way, I wasn't going to pay for 30 pounds. <laughs> Alright, so these are Gopetico knit sneakers for $18.97 plus ship, bought for $4.99. Okay. Those will go in a mailer. Box F. This is something I'm just happy to sell for $6. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a Matilda Jane dress, but I miss, like, it has, like, a hole in the armpit or somewhere, I believe. So I only paid 99 cents for it but I've been trying to just send really good offers every time someone watched it and finally someone accepted for six plus ship. So I'm still making like 350. Hey. <laughs> I'll take that. You quadrupled your money That's almost. true. <laughs> Tripled at least, so. <laughs> All right. Oh, this was a cool sale. So I found this item at the bins like probably years ago, but I only listed it a few months ago, I think. Cause at first I just didn't know what it was. And then I was just like, it doesn't have a size or anything on it. So it was like, I just didn't know how to list it, you know? Right. But then when we finally got our whole death pile gone, this was at the very end of that death pile. <laughs> and I was like, all right, we're listing it as something. <laughs> so it's like, you'll see a better picture on this yeah. screen, but it's like a handmade beaded, like beautiful, like belt. Yeah. I assume it's a belt, <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, the brand is Gossamer Wings and it's out of Santa Fe and the lady just does beaded pieces. She does right. weight, like she does jackets. She does a lot of cooler stuff than just belts. Right. But yeah, the jackets are like thousand dollar jackets and stuff. So this belt probably retailed for a few hundred, I imagine. I ended up getting thirty nine ninety seven plus shipping, which I think is pretty good for yeah. that. And my bins cost of goods that day was a dollar twenty six, so Sweet. I'm it's, just glad it's, it finally sold. Yeah, and it's going back to New Mexico. Yeah, it actually right? is going back to Santa Fe. So, <laughs> so that's I was like, awesome. I wonder if this is the first. They must know the artist because it's it's <laughs> yeah. more of like an art piece than it is right, like a yeah functional belt. I, I wouldn't even think it's functional as yeah, a belt. It has like one little loop, but yeah, I feel like it'd be hard to yeah keep it on for like a long period of time maybe for like a photo shoot we were thinking it might have been part of a larger yeah. like a costume or something probably was part of something else yeah but at the we bins, found you at the bins. You yeah. <laughs> maybe she has the other uh, rest the rest and of honestly, the costume or something i didn't even i don't think i even looked it up when i was there because i don't even think i could read the the person's name like right their signature is like hard to like make out mm -hmm. and then i we figured it out but yeah i was just like beaded yeah. It's gotta be worth something, right? And it's at the bend, so it's like a buck. Yeah. So you took a chance, paid off yeah, over time. Yeah, <laughs> lots of time. Uh, this is a Wildflowers t shirt, came from when me and Destiny did a swap box. And so I have already covered my cost of goods and everything on those boxes. So we're calling this $0 cost of goods. Sold for $9.44 plus shipping. Sweet. All profit after the eBay fee. I think that was eBay. So do an ice cream truck. Thanks again for doing that with me, Destiny. Yeah, super okay. fun. Um, I already pulled these down because I needed to. We needed fit space, else yeah. Up there. Yeah, and I knew I'd sold these. So these Nike cleats I bought uh, retail arbitrage. I won't tell you where because that's my spot that I haven't told you guys <laughs> where. But I'm sure you've most have figured it out by now. Anyways, they had these marked down to three dollars and fifty cents, and. I was just like, I can't leave them there for that cheap, right? <laughs> but then I've been regretting that ever since because they've been taking forever to sell. They're a men's size 15, plus they're like metal, which I don't think is right. usable in most things these days. I'm not really sure. Uh, I don't even know if these are baseball or football or what. But Right, yeah. They Anyways. almost look like a linebacker, maybe like <laughs> so football. Hopefully the person who bought them knows that he's allowed to use them. But they sold on Facebook finally for $25. So I'm making a little profit, which is cool. But probably would not pick up again i don't really like cleats the cleats i am okay picking up are usually like kids or youth because mm -hmm. they sell around 20 which is still not great yeah um there are some cleats that can go for a lot i don't know them off the top of my head 
but you could yeah. probably search cleats and soar highest to lowest sold right and figure that out but yeah it makes sense that the youth cleats because you know new cleats are fairly expensive yeah and it's youth kids don't use them too too much they're not heavily used so there's that's a great market for used cleats you know yeah. soccer mom or you're not. Soccer, mom. <laughs> soccer mom's trying to save some money <laughs> you know so and you still get good yeah, condition every year cleats. you need a new size right much. kids shoes or your feet are growing fast so <laughs> it makes sense all right uh these are some athletic work sneakers we got these from our viewer debbie so these are free to us sold for 17 with discount shipping on posh nice. she actually sent us a three pairs of those so i still have two more so this is all profit after the poshmark fee so thanks awesome. debbie, and, debbie yeah. thanks for that support this box because I think I'm out of regional bees. Yeah, we definitely need to restock the boxes. <laughs> They're all out in you the don't trailer. Think it's fun just getting what you can get. <laughs> Making it work. Well, it's it's funny because every time we think about it, it's like raining, <laughs> like it in the afternoon. Every single day. <laughs> <laughs> so, which you know, I, I don't want to complain about the rain, but <laughs> it, it's definitely like at the worst times. <laughs> so. I actually like the rain. I like the smell. I like the coolness. But like, I wish it was in the morning and right. not the evening. Yeah. The, e the morning afternoon is like when we're working, and then the evening we want to just sit outside, relax, yeah. and then it's have like some raining, dinner. So. Yeah. Yep. Anyhow. We're just big. We're just yeah, complaining we're just for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this one I kind of sad about. I really thought this would go for more, but at this point, I just took the offer that I got because it was the first one I've ever gotten. Mm -hmm. It's Peloton, but it's Roan. Roan is the brand of the shirt, and then they labeled it with Peloton, which Peloton is kind of going down. down. Yeah. So I just took the offer of twenty five dollars. I did pay seven ninety nine for this. I think I bought it in January, so it's been listed a while. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I originally bought it thinking it should go for at least forty, probably more like fifty. Mm -hmm. But yeah. <laughs> hey, that's the nature of the game, you know. Yep. That's why we like to try to stick with stuff and that. Honestly, it's probably my own fault because I listed it so high to begin. Just yeah, thinking I'll just take um, an offer, even if they offer half off, because I think I priced it at like seventy nine, which is kind of ridiculous. Yeah. But, 79 knowing posture va would send an offer then i'd probably get a counter or just somebody offering half off which is what they normally do on posh mm -hmm. which would be 40 and i'd probably accept that too so it didn't work out in my yeah. favor but that's okay i'm still making a profit hey for it to not work out and you still make money that's that's good in my book i sold this harley hat on ebay for 29.95 plus shipping bought it for 3.99 you got rid of the bulldog's hat. I had it on his head. I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> Must have had to move it for something. Uh, so I'll just find a little box for that because it's going first class, so it can't be one of these. And last thing so far, a P. Oh, perfect timing. <laughs> perfect timing for Tommy Rose. <laughs> you don't even have to move. Good boy. I my foot. <laughs> Don't let your head fall oh, too hard. Not your pillow. <laughs> All right. These are the brand OTBT, which is my first time selling this. And I sold them for $24 plus shipping. Bought for $6.99. May have been able to get more, but I just wanted to sell them. Because <laughs> we still have a bins haul that we need to record. And I know I have another pair in there. So, yeah. Anyways, so that's that. Those are going in a padded flat rate. There we go. Awesome. So that's everything that has sold so far. Let's get this all packed up and we'll see if anything else comes in. All right. Thanks for all the help today, Reese. All right, guys, got everything all packed up, ready to go. Just kind of used a, uh, for that Batman thing, yeah. just a box that didn't really, uh, not a fully assembled box, just uh, <laughs> slipped it in there, put some bubble wrap around it. Should work. It's the first so time I've done that. Cut it open on the edge and not. Yeah, hopefully they don't use a knife. Into the thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty. It's pretty deep in there. I mean, they'd have to use a really long knife to mess something up. But hopefully it makes it there. But yeah, no other sales have come in, so I think that's gonna be it for today. Yeah. You'll notice Kathy's wearing a Chiching King shirt. <laughs> We're actually gonna be on live with Scott, the Chiching King 
over at Cat the Nurse Flipper's YouTube channel. I think this video might go up before that. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah, go check out the replay. If not, go check out the replay. If you weren't able to make it, it would be Tuesday the 26th, right? Yeah. So we'll be live with Kat, the Nurse Flipper. We also have lives every Thursday night, uh, Mountain Time at 8 p.m. And come join. We do some listing. Some Usually, we usually do some listing and just have a good time hanging out. Anyway, guys, we got to get this stuff off to the post office. Uh, go get a nice cold drink because it is a warm day today. <laughs> and that's going to be it for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We appreciate all the amazing support. And I will see you guys in the next one.